Right, hello YouTube. Welcome back to From the Depths. Yes, despite uh, being a little, a little unfortunately negative in my review, and I do stand by what I said in it. Um, I do still love this game. I don't have anything against From the Depths. I actually really do love it still. Um, and I'm gonna be honest, while it is a game that I don't play all the time, or not as heavily as some YouTubers, a it does do really well on the algorithm. There is that, but b I do actually really enjoy it. So I figured, let's come back to it again, which I haven't done for a while, and let's play a custom campaign. Now, the original plan was Helios. Uh, there is a subtitle, but I can't remember it. Uh, but Helios has been out of development for about, according to the comments, at least four months. And um, I recorded an intro to a video on Helios. I got about two minutes in, and I realized that some of the enemy faction ships weren't floating, or at least weren't fully floating. Um, so yeah, apparently it's out of date enough at least that some of it is kind of jank. However, very recently on the front page from the depths, a custom campaign came up called uh, Sa Safia? Safia? I don't know quite how you pronounce it. I actually kind of like the look of it, and it's brand new. It's up to date. It's functional. See this little whatever it is that's flying around these sort of cool, vaguely Italian looking like biplane type crafts? I actually really like those. So I thought, why not? We'll give it a go. Now, I have not looked properly into any of it yet, apart from very quickly starting out the campaign, just to quickly check, what money do we start with? Cool jet, actually, there. Because what I think it is, first episode, we're going to design our first craft for it. Now, in terms of some of the support craft, bases and things, we're going to straight up reuse our needle designs, because they work. Like, the refinery and the gatherer are both are perfectly functional, there's no problems with them. Um, but we're going to build new warcraft. And I can give it a bit of an idea for what I want to start with. So, we started with, uh, what do you call it? 16,000 resources, give or take. But I think it's about 5,000 locally and about 10,000 in commodities. So I'm going to design for our first craft for this campaign. We're going to build a little biplane. We just want to build a, a little biplane that will be very cheap to run because I'm going to run it on an RPG. This would be a little gun, agile. Uh, gun biplane, basically. So, what I'm thinking is... Go to Minera RPG. It's not actually the cheapest way to build a starter craft, but... I figure with just one, it shouldn't be too much. Especially if the battery isn't too big. And it won't have any uh, running costs. Which will save a lot of resources in the long run. We're going to do a propeller. Where is the propeller? Propeller hub. Be a huge propeller either. Is that the right way around? Oh, I think it automatically sent us them anyway. I don't think it matters. Uh, what looks better? Possibly. Probably that, and then we'll thin them out a bit. Blade thickness, like. Oh, that's. Okay, that's the. That thickness, okay. Uh, blade width? Yeah, thin those down a little bit. They look way too thick. Uh. Yeah, change the rotation a bit as well. Uh, make sure it's that length, that's length. Okay. Yeah, like half a meter extra. What is zero? Is that sent to them? Kinda. Hmm. Actually, they do look better with a bit of an offset. Texture. Yeah, so I might even want a wooden texture for this. Pleat? Oh, pleat's nice, actually. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, I see. We can actually change the shape. We'll, we'll stick with that for now. We won't worry about refining it too heavily. What I want to do is find out how much power this uses at full. I'll use 280. Yeah, that should be fine. Right, the... um. I don't think any of the other parts on it to use anything, so a resting thrust should probably not be not for now anyway. Right, troll. We build this to be manned after all. Yeah, but yeah, I like the idea of building a sort of low tech, like World War One looking biplane, and then maybe like moving up the tech as we go along. Like our early ships will be low tech as well. I think it looks like it's a another sort of combined water and land one, so we're gonna want to have a bit of both available to us. 
Uh, shape wise doesn't need to be too much on this really. If we do a that for a little cabin section. Keep this in four meters. Yeah, cost wise I don't want this to be more than maybe about five thousand, but I think that actually should be quite easy to keep it below that. Yeah, a little bit of glass protecting us at least. Okay, yeah, if I spin this around. Yeah, there we go, look at that. But yes, like I say, I'll be back to back to From the Depth for a little bit. I do enjoy it. For all the problems I did have of it in the review, I do still enjoy this game. And again, I said it does do quite well as well, but it's all of it, certainly. Uh, resources. And again, I will be keeping going with, with Super Robot Wars, because I do love that game too. I've been having a lot of fun with that. Uh, let's build this into the tail. may need more resources in it, so we'll leave that section hollow for now. I guess we need to add a bit more. Guns, I'm thinking we'll have two Ford mounted uh, guns, no turrets on this one. It's probably a bit big for how big it needs to be as well, if anything, but... Eh. I mean, I'm going to use the very standard, like, actual wing parts. Custom wings, yep. What do we do? Is there like an inverted corner or look? There is. Okay. All the way around. Ah. That needs to be a middle section. Uh, yeah. Well, that was before surface. Inside, can I to make the rest of it look right? Wait, no. Do that. Uh, oh, wait, the back should be like that, because I believe the control surfaces have that shape to them. And. Yep, yeah, two more middle pieces, and that as well. And that. Okay, that should be the tail. Again, we'll do a biplane, so we'll have a raised wing as well. Um, do I want the front curved at all? No, they're normally square, aren't they, for biplanes, so... Curve. Go like that, and we'll have... Control surfaces near the end for roll. So, in fact, we'll set these to three, and we'll do the curve on the back as well. Lifted section. Actually, there's another bit for wings, isn't there? There's like a ah, wing struts. That's for okay. I guess we could use that to deco it. Ah, we'll probably we'll probably deco it with some some barrels or whatnot. I do want to add some of those nice uh, like a uh, cable looking uh, supports. Why am I might actually do for supporting this? Because I'd like the top wing to be supported. Reasonably solidly is might actually do a bit of a thing here. We go. If we go like that, a two meter wedge, and we go. Actually, it'd be a one meter one net because it have to. Yeah, let's sit above the cockpit. We'll actually deco in one there. And we'll attach the top wing to that. If we do a. That look right? Because that didn't look weird. That's probably look weird. Uh, ah, actually, a pleak might look right for that. Because that'll be thin enough to look right. Hmm. 
yeah, if we... So the... Oh, can I not put that upside down? I can, but it doesn't look right. We'll decorate and go... Yeah, there we go. Now we can decorate some wings into that to make it look right. I like to. I like these grass looking nice. I don't want. Uh, I don't like the low effort sort of looking ones. I do like it when you just make your grass look aesthetic as well. Even if it does tend to be there a bit weaker in terms of actual combat power, but whatever, right? Yeah, that looks alright. And we just need our actual controls. Oh, and an AI. Actually, that might be what that space in the tail needs to be for. That might need to be the AI. I do not have much room. The AI is going to have to be quite basic. So... I should handle all the controls. We probably want... We probably want a couple of AI cards, so we might have to... potentially mount some here, a little bit exposed, and then... It's going to hold target prioritization and aim point. Gonna be, this one's going to be a fighter, primarily, so this will prioritise aircraft first. And that, I suppose? Yeah, this looks alright. That was a uh, deco. Don't worry about the actual armour later. Speaking of deco, uh, some wings, two meter. I want to also add, for, forget about it, those across the back. No, do I? Maybe there. Maybe just there, and then leave the center section unconnected. Actually, no, it probably looks alright like that. Uh, right, control surfaces. Two meter. I actually don't want that. I want the pivot. Let's do two of those, right? That'll still work. Oh, no, it needs to be on the pivot. Okay, yeah, that will do. So, uh, there we go. And then that. Then we go. There. There. There, 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 and there. Right, this will be... Uh, oh, yeah, we don't get the, we don't get the, the defaults. This will be roll right. Uh, oh, I need to set to plane mode, so I'm actually getting the right outputs. So, roll right would be I. Yep, okay, so that's right. So that's what on what uh, one. Okay. I also need to do roll right, and I need to do axis offset is 0 0.5, right? We've done this before with, with previous stuff. Yeah, there we go. Can I just copy that? A. Hey. Paste. Okay. Paste it into these and then invert the other bit. Yep. Yeah, you shouldn't be on the roll. You're meant to be doing your. No, we're just doing your. Huh? Oh, have I put these on your by accident? Whoops. I have. So K is. K is roll. Okay. Yes, that's right. So. Copy. Oh dear, sorry about this. Paste. Out of the way. The... Okay. For those of you who are new to this, uh, to my channel for this series, hello. Um, I tend to do... When I do the builds, I tend to just do the whole thing and just split it into multiple episodes if I have to. I like giving a, a, a good idea of, like, this is what the game's actually like for stuff like this. Like, a better idea of, like, here's how long it, like, actually takes, because it does take a while. Uh, 0 0.5. That also means, because I haven't skipped anything, you guys can see how it's done. Uh, 
Okay, minus. Yes, okay. And then you need to be on pitch. You go the wrong way around. I reckon they might be backwards, that might be white. Minus 0 0.55. Pitch up, pitch down. Rolls on that. It'd probably run now if I go to the AI and set it up. You are. Attack run with U turn. The maneuver is that plate. Ah, the until lift the mass is off. It is trying to come safe, but it's not working. Okay, so uh, lift is too high. Yes, yeah, that actually. Um, no, we don't want to do that. Um, do zero point five. Spread to neighbors. It's definitely still doing flips. Two five. Not spread. Oh, it's spread all the way across. Right to max, how are we doing? No, okay, it's still it's still a little uncontrollable. Okay. Is that because it is biplane? Would I be better? Let's actually save this and create an AR folder for these, because I just realized I've made this much and I haven't saved it, which is really bad practice. Um this will be the This will make up for being unable to pronounce it. So the uh, campaign. I don't know if it's Cypher or Saphir or or what, but it is that. Another campaign. The other one. Like better. We'll maybe try and come up with a better name for it later. I guess it's just working now. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's not tremendously, well, it's very slow actually for an aeroplane, but it's working. You can even expand the blades a little bit if you wanted to. Don't want it to be draining power actively though because it can't doesn't have theoretically infinite endurance. I mean yeah, it, it works. Can I can I turn the power up? I do it manual control and I do yeah, push it forwards. Use 280. Ah, okay. Actually, are drawing slightly more power than it can create. Now ah, the battery is still running down. Yeah, this is the downside of running on one RTG. It is super cheap, but not actually putting out a lot of battery power. If we add another one, and I appreciate this is most of the cost of the vehicle at this point. Actually, how much are they, little ones? Three seventy-five. There's actually not enough that the battery is just regenerating passively. To do a four meter. Still not. Are we potentially going to have to go to fuel? There's not much space in this for a fuel engine, but we could do it. Is this thing actually having trouble descending? I think this is actually having trouble descending. It's so high up. Um, that might be the lift thing. Do 0.5. 
eight by the construct. Or it might be because it can't pitch it down far enough, but. Yeah, we are running. Okay, energy is running out. Might have to do a very compact engine then. And put some fuel on board, which is a little annoying given the idea of this originally, but oh well. Shouldn't be too hard to make a small fuel engine that runs this thing. If anything, the top should probably be the bit that's exposed because that's not going to be the side it's getting shot at a lot of the time. Supercharger, which goes in the red as well. Behind the cylinder, annoyingly, so it looks weird, but. Oh, let's we'll go here. And it's okay. Doing well. Something. Ah, oh there's the downsides are from Vips' uh, engines system. That should be venting externally. We're more just frying this at the moment than anything. The radiator would probably be a better bet. Better bet. Alright, let's try to radiate it. Fuel use 0 0.2, not a lot. <clears throat> Can write it off a very cheap engine to some extent, but at that point it would almost be worth just running it on the uh, thing again. Hmm. This is choices. This does look better though if I put a shell around it as well. Let's see if I do. Try a bit of a rejig on this. I think fuel engine might be the way to go in this case, but let's try put this directly behind the engine. It's got a bit more space. Crankshaft up to there, and then let's do a cylinder like this. And go carburetor on top. Supercharger in the middle, so to hopefully benefit both. So we can have the supercharged look. Um. Radiator where there's going to be nice cold air being blown into it. Uh, oh, I think we need an adapter, right? Oh, can I do that? That works too. Which we're producing not a lot. Damn it. Then carburetor. Turbocharge it, sorry. Quad turbo. 185. Napa materials 370, materials half. Hmm. Also functional, but not just not as good an output as just having the battery. It's cheaper. Um, hmm. It's using, it is, yeah, very sippy though. Hmm. Well, that gets it up to a bit. Overheating. Oh, 
reading. Our output is dropping. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's getting hot. It's losing power. I see. Got another radiator here. Warm, warm the pilot's feet. That seems to be working. Gives us an opportunity for an interesting look as well. And the engine exposed isn't so great, but if we go, if we went to say two meter oblique, this bit will just be exposed. Uh, we'll also go. Look for it, I suppose. See if anything, shouldn't it be? Yeah, it'd be that way around, if anything. Because it's designed to channel air into the air vent. And then I guess we could also go. Yeah, we could technically use these to shield the side of the engine a little bit. This could just be a 2 meter. Start for a bit a bit quiet, I'm thinking about this. <laughs> Wait no. That must look nice. Then we go another one of those, and then we go corner. Two. No, yeah, one of those in the corner. Nice that nice engine is uh exposed, but hey ho. Looks good. Actually kinda of looks alright, kinda of looks like it's all compartmented. We'll leave the nice turbos at the front exposed. There we go. Okay. So we are working. It is very sippy on the resource at the moment. This might change once we start to put some weapons on it. Let's tweak the AI because it looks like it's trying to descend and it can't. And it's also set the altitude. So, combat altitude, yeah, we'll say 150. This one's gonna be a low flyer. You can control altitude, you can fly, you can't do the other things. Uh, adjustments, min altitude above water, above land, we'll say 35. This should be pretty uh, maneuverable, this should be pretty good at um, adjusting as needed. Max pitch, max, duh. You should be nice and agile, you should be able to handle that. Uh, it's a roll angle one somewhere, we are doing aeroplane, right? Yeah, max roll for banking turns. 90, yeah. It's a bye it can turn sharp. Like, <clears throat> Why is this one turned so hard? Which one are your left? Altitude is decreasing. I think it's not heavy enough at the moment, basically. Let's add some guns and uh, change that a bit. So, we'll add the normal wing struts. So, let's add a new uh, the wing net. Are going to be advanced cannons. They're not going to be tremendously <laughs> tremendously complicated or as it were tremendously advanced cannons. Fair. Probably a case where it could be a direct input feed, but I just don't like them conceptually. Uh, oh it's in front of the flap. Hmm. pretty much exposed. This may be a horrible mistake. If it is, we'll be <laughs> doing what we had to do on uh, Finest Hour, which was redoing the campaign quite quickly, but I think we'll be alright. Oh, we had stuff. Yeah, much as it is sippy, we did eventually run out. But, uh, we might end up adding some more resources to it. Barrels. Monk 
controller. I guess we'll need a tran yeah, we'll need a transmitter and some detection systems on the uh, on this particular plate. We'll do for shooting. We'll have an AI. Ca I believe this connects into the AI if it's set up right. So we'll use an AI camera on each wing to to aim the guns and see if that's enough. Um, yeah, we're trying to go cheap. We're at Ten thousand already. It's getting more expensive. That's mostly gun. I think it's about half gun, in fact. Uh, right. Well, let's transmitter. Check. Light alloy. It looks there, and we'll go over that. Fifty percent. Uh, can we go? General purpose card there. Yes, we can. Okay. Should be a hundred percent. We do need to add some bits like the deco for the uh, struts, but we'll get this working first. So now need loading. Keep the profile thin. We'll put the loaders at the front. So, new shell design. What are we looking at for size? Currently a 60 mil. We'll probably put that down, if anything. Let's do three... What's the, what's the size at the moment? 27 mil? We could do three 27 mil. So we could do four. We could do 20 millimeters, because that is actually a fairly common aircraft gauge. L spacing, not very much. We're done there. 0 0.5. Copy. Paste it to you. No, we'll set the this fire rate before we worry about that. There's one meter, 20 mil. I'm guessing that will mean we'll be able to go up to max without too much trouble. It's still fit. Yep. Okay. So at the moment, we're just AP rounds. Fairly good armor piercing. 2,000 damage. We'll try Sabos. For this, that might be quite a good bet. Don't know what the recall is going to be, though. We're looking at now. AP 35. Half the kinetic. Oh, you don't gain much for half the kinetic damage. Oh, hang on. That's because it's got the wrong head. Say about head. Oh, 93 kinetic AP. Yes. Okay. That's quite good, actually. So a very high velocity. Uh, see these can have the full as well. 36. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's probably pretty good. Uh, right. Uh, so with those specs. Mm, what's the other things you need here? Barrel length, yep, four meters, that's fine. Clip level one meter. Recoil probably won't be an issue, but we'll better check it. Guns reloading quite quickly, we'll quickly save the vehicle. Fire rate is 234, huh? What is limiting that primarily? Cooling, cooling limit. Oh, actually, cooling limit we can improve. So we can do a split that, and that might actually be worth it. No, no, we can't that way. Ah. No, maybe we can't, actually. Hmm. That's not normally a hard one to improve, actually, but I don't know if we can there, because, in fact, there's stuff in the way. Multi-barrel 1.6 cooling time modifier. Really? I thought they normally improved it. We got a one barrel. Does that improve it? 129. Oh no, it is definitely worse. Okay. Okay, we got up to five barrels. Still be 20. Uh, where's the gauge on this thing? Am I getting mad? Why can't I see the gauge? Oh, 20 mil. Yes, you got to five barrel. Okay. 262. Paste it onto the other one. Why is it 90 parts? Give it all 20. What are you doing? Why was it only 20? Maybe half of them, rather. 20, okay. Good. Right, I actually loaded. Is that fire rate actually correct then? 262? That's probably right. Uh, let's put it in godly mode. Let's save it and let's quickly spawn something. I don't know what an example testing craft is. They do have some planes though. Aerotrans, Caproni. Oh, Caproni. Very cheap. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're going into a sharp turn. Oh, yes, I haven't set the AI yet, so 
I don't know what our actual attack patterns will be yet. We are a lot faster than it, though, I will note. <coughs> though we look like we're actually somehow much heavier than it. Oh, missile closing. Nice evade. So I could AI detection system here, I think wouldn't be a bad idea. We would do Yeah, maybe let's put one in where the where the guy would be. Let's do a camera gimbal tracker as if it's like a guy looking. Can we actually attack oh if we can attach a here. To be the miracle of a uh, deco again. Yeah, and on the other side we'll have to be the uh, EPP card to process it. It cost 10,000. 10,000 I could deal with. I see nice round numbers for a fighter. Let's see. Say the hit rate was going up with that, but I'm not sure. Is the actual damage any good? Not there's much to hit on this thing, but I really would like that increased fire rate from the um Yeah, it could be firing a lot faster. Tell you what, let's actually cut those off. I'll stick out a little bit further, but the second so cooler, then an advanced firing piece. And I think we copied the settings, right? So if we go paste. Yep. Yet we'll need to prove the supplies. It's firing EMP! Oh, come on. It was looking so good <laughs> that it fired EMP, and I'm just like, no, why? Why is this wooden plane firing EMP? Who is responsible for this? What's the fire rate expected to be now? Oh, how is that? Not controlled by AI. Oh. Right, this is no longer in the right place to control it. Go on top. Anyway, I shall load it. Why not? They clearly are, right? Oh, I was just too far forwards. This might be too far forwards. now. Increased rate of fire. I find it interesting how it's nosing down the whole time. Need like less lift at the rear or something, I guess. A little bit of... Ironically enough, I might actually add a little bit of lead ballast to my aircraft. Yeah, that actually does make it fly more level. I don't think it's doing much of the speed, but... It's just not hurting it significantly, so... That ballast at the road is! Nice to reduce drag, if anything.
Maybe we need something a bit stingier on the shells. Maybe we need some frags or something. I think at the moment we're just hitting it, punching through and doing nothing. Try some air bursty frag type rounds. So it might be a bit of a long episode, but it's the start of a series. I don't really mind that. So add those extra resources while we're here. I did leave some space for stuff like that. Did I end up filling it with AI? I did not entirely, at least. Ah, there's a bit of space here anyway. Yeah, I'm going to add a fair bit more because it does use it. Right. Why are you red? Put this one in backwards, though. No, it's working. Anyway, to help not warn me. Nope. All right, we'll put it back in. We're ready to complain. Oh, we're not going to control them now anymore. Now we haven't. Under here, then. You all still right? Yep. Right, one of these behind me. So I've got a basic airbus frag round for this, then. So it'll be 20 part round. Eight, four hundred, even no. Is this even at twenty? That's quite impressive. Five. That's not too bad. I can add more. We do one there. Six and a hundred. Okay, and then we do a. Actually, the proximity fuse even a thing anymore, or are we on to? Use. And then we'll need to add lasers to the. Increase the cost too much, but add those to it. Or we're testing at least. a little bit. Hopefully once they start to get through these rounds it'll suddenly switch to the I've shot up the wings a bit. We would have been down by EMP a long time ago though. Not that we couldn't fit missiles but I wanted to try to do a gun plane on this one. Mind you we could always have one with both. So one would probably be stronger. It does take a little bit longer to load the uh, these ones. Pretty chair. All right, yeah, the firing rate might be a little low as well. Nine. Ah, that is actually going to be worse. In practice. I would say those are much more consistent actually now I'm seeing them in action. Don't do as much damage per hit, but they're hitting more consistently.
they actually have the same fire rate or are they slightly lower? They are actually lower. Okay, so these shells clearly take a little bit more to load. 298. Yeah, so theoretically they should be able to fire constantly, I think, once they're loaded. Oh no, they would if they want the burst fire ones, but oh well. They are, however, significantly more expensive than what they're fighting. I tell you what. Save it. We'll give it a missile as well, since the enemy's already using them, clearly. We'll give it a single missile launcher underneath. It'll do the same as they've done. This will be a. one at the back. We'll swap that for a fuel tank. Some guns. So the warhead, active radar CK. Yeah, that'll be good. Why do we need to do that? Just do a all the one controller. It's potentially where you find out this single little missile launcher just does more damage than anything else. Oh, no lock. We'll need to find our fire identifier as well, doesn't it? Yep, that's why. Why isn't that firing? Oh right, these are yeah, those are a bit weird missile launchers, aren't they? Two wait one second. So hopefully drop off a bit. Oh that killed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll mount the missiles as well, go on. Let's change the body shape a little bit to account for that. Added 2,000. It added a fair bit, but they, they can, you can see it's already a lot more effective than the guns. I try to do things that aren't missiles in these campaigns, but then the game just goes the missiles work better, so we also need to work out a colour scheme for this campaign that we're going to use. Of course, we don't have one yet, and also do decorations, but I think for our first episode we'll call that there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode, where hopefully we'll get to the actual campaign. Goodbye.